Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. If you are brand new to my channel, then you gotta make sure to hit that subscribe and that notification button. And please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I appreciate it. So it's time to check out Dior Homme 2020. Some of the notes in Dior Homme are bergamot, pink pepper, and elemi, cashmere wood, atlas cedar, and patchouli. And then we have ISO E Super, Haitian vetiver, and white musk. So what does it smell like? Oof, <laughs> this is really, really nice. Pink pepper is the first thing to hit my nose and then just a few seconds later the bergamot comes in. So you have that brightness at the top with the citrus and the pepper and the opening is nice. Nothing groundbreaking but really nice. Things move quite quickly in this one and just a few moments later in comes the woody side of it with the cedar being the most prominent note. It's woody in a lovely way with the bergamot and the pink pepper still lingering at the top. There's an undertone of something slightly sweet and ambery here. I'm guessing it's the cashmere wood. This slightly hint of ambery sweetness makes the blend a bit more round and nuanced. This side of arm is really subdued though, so do not expect anything overly sweet or ambery in this one. Going into the full dry down, we get a blend of that cedar together with musk, patchouli and vetiver. To me, the dry down is dominated by the woody side of it with a musky backbone. Patchouli brings a nice richness to the woody side of it and the vetiver is there in, at least to me, just the right amount. I am sensitive to overly vetiver focused fragrances and this is not an intense green kind of vetiver. It's there and it gives this primarily woody blend a certain kind of freshness, which is really nice. To sum this scent up, a bright citrusy and peppery opening, which then stays on for a while as the cedar comes in with an undertone of amber and something slightly sweet. The full dry down is basically a woody and musky affair with the cedar being the dominant note enriched by the patchouli and the vetiver. It's woody, it's a bit musky and it smells pretty damn good and the dry down is insanely good. So how do I feel when I wear Dior Homme? This to me is almost pure elegance. The woody musky combo brings it to sort of a warm, sensual and elegant vibe and the bright opening and the vetiver brings it a touch of freshness which gives it a sort of a polished vibe. A crisp white shirt or a plain white t-shirt and an overall nice outfit with this one Hell yeah. So what about compliments and reactions from others? I only had it for a short time, but enjoyed a compliment during a dinner party the very first day I used it. My experience tells me this is going to be a compliment getter. It has that very likable kind of woody dominant blend that women find masculine and attractive. I know this thing will pull in even more compliments when I start using it more. So what about the performance? This is unfortunately not up to par with, let's say, Dior Homme Intense or Parfum. It's actually quite soft, which means it's perfect for my normal routine of a million sprays. I spray a lot with this one. How you go about it is up to you, but I do recommend spraying more rather than less. At least if you want people around you to enjoy it more. Also, the full dry down is, to me, the most intoxicating part of this fragrance and at that point it's becoming softer by the minute. So spraying extra will give you more of the very best part of it. So when should you use this perfume? This is the kind of scent that is super versatile. You simply cannot go wrong with it. Use it any time of the year and use it anywhere and for any kind of situation. I'll be using it to formal events, to business meetings, to dinner parties, to dates, and simply whenever I want that beautiful woody scent on me. So who should buy this fragrance? Get it if you want a super versatile and nice woody fragrance that you can use anytime, anywhere, that most people will think smells great. Simple as that. Do not get it if you do not enjoy woody fragrances. So how am I going to rate this fragrance? Dior knows what they are doing. Dior is one of the world's top fashion houses and they have created a ton of stunning perfumes 
and a lot of them are very original. This might not be the most original release from Dior though, but it does smell great. This one does not blow me away like Dior Homme Intense or Dior Homme Parfum, but it does impress me with the elegant and sensual blend of cedar, musk, patchouli, and vetiver. And I really enjoy it. And this is the kind of scent that most people will enjoy on me. I know I can't go wrong with this one. Sure, the performance is not the best, but I'll spray like I always do and I'll be fine. Dior Om gets a solid 8.5 from me. It's almost like an understated kind of elegance and it's perfect for someone who wants a woody scent that smells great and that most people will enjoy. You cannot go wrong with this one. Period. Please like this video. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Now, I would love to know if you have tried it, DU or OM. How do you feel about it? Comment and let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.